I am going to be getting ready with you guys. I have a photo shoot to head to really soon, like literally after I finish filming this video. Um, I'm going to be meeting up with my new friend Lene and she's a photographer from Singapore but um, currently she's based in Los Angeles. We're actually going to be shooting an editorial for my jewelry line that I just launched with my friends at Keston. Um, I've been talking about it a lot so I'm sure you guys already know but um, yeah. I recently launched a jewelry line and it's out and everything so you guys can go over to keston.co and you guys can check out the entire line and um, yeah today we're going to be shooting an editorial for my line and we are going to be having this shoot featured in a local magazine called The Local Wolves so I'm pretty excited and yeah I'm just going to be getting ready with you guys. Also, this video is sponsored by Squarespace. If you guys want to learn more about how you can create your own custom website, you can stay tuned until the end of the video. Let's get started because I am about to be late. <laughs> Since I'm going to be shooting in the sun today, I'm starting off with a primer. This is the Silken Pore Perfecting Sunscreen from the brand Tatcha. And this one is SPF. 35 and then next I'm going in with my favorite primer. This is the Ofra Cosmetics Absolute Cover Face Primer And I have already talked about most of these products a lot with you guys I've done like reviews and everything so you guys can always check out those videos Also, I'm so sorry if you guys hear like annoying like buzzing in the background um, It's really 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 hot in Los Angeles right now and the AC is on and I wish that I could just film without it but I mean like look at what I'm wearing you guys I'm wearing like a full like this is like a full length multi-layered prairie girl dress so like I just I cannot and it's like buttoned all the way up I truly cannot and also just to prep the lips I'm using my favorite 100% pure cherry lip balm I am going in with my foundation and this is something that I've only tried like once so I don't really know how I feel about it right now this is the Tarte Empowered Hybrid Gel Foundation and I am in the color Fair Light Neutral. So the coverage on this one is pretty good. It's like a good uh, medium coverage and it's definitely very buildable so I think you can get full coverage out of this. So I just roughly blended that into my skin to get a map of where I want the product to go. And then going in with my damp sponge, I am just lightly tapping that into my skin to smooth out the product. So the shoot that we're doing today is um, definitely like Dior Couture inspired. Because this shoot is for my collection, I wanted to utilize a ton of like frills and flowers. Um, one of like my biggest inspirations for my line was the trend of like layering different fabrics and materials. So I definitely wanted to bring that into this shoot, which is why I'm wearing this like ridiculous like vintage prairie girl dress because I thought that it would just look really amazing with all of the ruffles and different textures. Ooh, yeah, this definitely grabs onto my dry spots. I don't know how I feel about this foundation. So next I'm going in with my Tarte Cosmetics Shape Tape Concealer and I am going in and concealing any extra blemishes that the foundation didn't cover up. Um, the coverage for the foundation is pretty good and I didn't have to layer up to get extra coverage like I normally do with other foundations I have. I'm so sorry, I think I, I, I just realized that I've been like covering my face and doing my makeup like this and my hand is just in front of my face the entire time. I'm so sorry. I'm left-handed so I'm just used to it. Yeah, this foundation isn't the worst thing in the world. I think it's really trying its best with my dry ass skin. Um, I skipped moisturizer this time, so next time I'm going to moisturize my face beforehand and see if that helps the foundation in any way. Next, I'm just going to lightly set my face with my Becca Soft Light Blurring Powder. Somebody turned off the AC and I am sweating like crazy, but good thing I have my Voltron sippy cup. I went to Denny's recently. I was really drunk and I think when you're drunk like Denny's in the middle of the night is like the way to go. It's just that like fulfilling nasty like heavy breakfast food that just feels so good. You like you know it's wrong but you're not sober enough to care. I saw that they were doing like a promotion for Voltron. Um, they let me just buy the cup and I was so happy. When season 3 comes out I'm filling this entire thing with wine and I'm just going to like ignore all of society and responsibilities and I'm just going to sink into my couch for the next two days and just watch Voltron. Okay, so I'm done with my base makeup. Uh, eyebrows. I am using the Chella Beautiful Blonde Eyebrow Color. My eyebrows are 
I'm looking pretty good recently so I don't really have to fill them that much it's just that I am missing a little bit of hair in the tail so I just really quickly run the pencil through that I'm not sponsored by Voltron by the way although I wish I was so the biggest point for the look that I want to go for today is going to be like um, like a very dreamy flush of color so I'm going to be focusing mainly on really soft looking cheeks and lips so first of all I am going in with a cream blush so just taking some on my fingertips I am going to dab it onto my cheeks and work in the color and the color that I have is very light so it's going to take a little bit to build up but that's okay because I actually want to follow up on top of this with a powder blush so I'm going in on top of that with a blush from my Ofra Cosmetics blush palette like I said I wanted to go for like a really dreamy watercolor look so I'm going pretty heavy-handed with the blush I liked using that cream blush as a base because it had like little shimmers in it so it makes the cheeks look more dewy rather than just putting on like a matte powder I want it to look a little bit ethereal so I'm going in with like the strongest highlighter known to man this is the Ofra highlighter in Beverly Hills um, yeah I am going Ooh, that's a lot of highlight oh I forgot it it's so strong ah Bl blending Blending is always an option. Yeah, so I am going back to Tokyo really, really freaking soon. I was in Tokyo a couple months ago to work on this film called Things to Scream at the Sun, and it's going to be premiering soon, and I am both nervous and excited. The premiere is going to be in Tokyo on July 22nd, and it will be available for worldwide viewing shortly afterwards on the 25th. So uh, when that goes live, of course, I will definitely share it with you guys and you guys will be able to watch the film. So I've already prepped my lips by putting a little bit of foundation on it so that I take away the color of my natural lips. So I'm going in with a muted brick red and um, because I'm looking for that watercolor look, I'm going to be applying this product really close to the center and then just smudging it out so that it looks really soft. For the eyes, I wanted to keep them really minimalistic and really simple and almost bare looking. So I'm dipping into my Pretty Naked palette from 100% Pure. Alright, so I scooted a little bit closer to you guys so you guys can see how I'm going to do the eyes. I just wanted to warm the eyes up a little bit, so I am using a pinky brown color. Um, this is also to match with the tones of my cheeks and my lips. I'm just dipping into the same shadow with like a fluffy tiny brush and I'm going to be bringing this color down to my lower lash line. Um, so I am going in with a dark brown pencil liner so that my eyes have a bit more definition um, but it's not going to overwhelm the makeup. So I'm just going back and forth between my pencil liner and a soft angled brush so that I can smudge it out and soften the line as I'm drawing it in because I really don't want it to look too harsh. Just going to be applying some mascara. Lastly, I'm going to finish off this look with two different setting sprays. I am going in with the Cover FX Illuminating Setting Spray first and you're supposed to shake this to distribute the little fine glitters inside. This setting spray gives me an all over radiant glow and it just looks really amazing. And then I finish off with my Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray and this one helps lock in my makeup. Um, so now that my makeup is done, we are moving into the part that I am actually most excited about. I'm going to fiddle around with my hair and see what I can do. I love to do these tight waves and you guys always ask me how I do this hairstyle and it is like this. I do tight French braids um, and I just leave them in overnight and that's it. So I'm just going to be letting this down. This is why I looked like so fucking crazy when I first started this video because I already had my hair up and everything ready for this hairstyle. It's also really easy and convenient because you don't have to use heat, which is great, especially if you have like processed hair. It's uh, a little a little linty, but I'm also really obsessed with this brush. This is the Wet Brush Pro, and I love it because it has like really soft, flexible bristles. So rather than like pulling through your hair and damaging your hair or ripping through it, um, it sort of just like glides 
through. Yeah, this was recommended to me by my salon and ooh man, it has been a lifesaver. I've been avoiding so much breakage with this brush. Let me curl in my bangs really quick. This is why I had to like put on foundation on my forehead, which I normally don't do. I also wanted to use this shoot as an opportunity to like mess with a style that I've like never really done before. So that's why I'm like pulling out, you know, the middle part, which I normally don't ever really do. And also, you know, these like special dresses that is completely different from my normal style. So as you guys know, my filming space was renovated recently and that's why my filming space is still in shambles. This is why I just have a chair and a pillow. But if you guys remember, I had these like cute little fake potted plants on that shelf behind me and I shot with these for a really long time, but I'm going to be destroying these and I'm going to be putting all of these into my hair today. Let's start with like a half updo. Ooh, these roots, ooh. <laughs> well, you can't help it. Yeah, I wanna do like a very delicate half updo. And we'll see where to go from there. I'm just gonna go for it and just like start pinning shit in cause truly I don't know how else to go about this. Let's just hope that it looks like elegant and cool. I have like an infinite wealth of bobby pins nearby so that can pin all of this into place and have it secure for the shoot. I wanted it to kind of look like a crown, so I do want them to stick up a little bit. So let's see how we can do this. Ooh, yeah. Casually just like pulled my camera really hard. Kind of messing up my hair a little bit at the same time, but I think I kind of like that like soft messiness that it has. Like you guys can see on this side, it looks really messy, which was not what I was going for. But surprisingly, I really like it. I think it looks really good. All right, I dare say that we are done. Uh, this didn't take me as long as I thought it would. Yeah, I'm really happy. I wasn't sure how this like little hair arrangement was gonna go. I was a little doubtful, but ooh man, it looks so good. So yeah, this is the finished look. Um, I have to get going if I'm going to make it to my photo shoot on time. Um, thank you guys so much for watching and thank you again to Squarespace for supporting this channel and sponsoring this video. Having a website definitely makes you seem more professional and it helps you get taken more seriously, but making a website doesn't have to be difficult and stressful. You can so easily use Squarespace to create something that is completely customizable and completely personalized. There are a ton of award-winning templates to choose from. Every single one is gorgeous and it is so easy to completely customize any of these templates to make something that appeals to you. Everything is easy to use on their all-in-one platform. You don't have to go to other websites. You don't have to download other plugins. It is completely easy to use and all on Squarespace. And if you have any questions that pop up, they have award-winning 24-7 customer support to get any of your problems taken care of right away. No matter who you are, if you're a creative mind or a business person, you can make your next move with Squarespace space by going to squarespace.com slash may you can enter the code may at checkout and you can get an entire 10 percent off your first purchase thank you guys again for watching and be sure to check out local wolves for the editorial with this look and i will catch you guys again later bye